guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, so for today's video, I just have a quick little try on of this Rare Beauty Selena's Faves set. Uh, so this is a set of four minis that uh, you guessed it are Selena Gomez's favorite products from her line. And uh, I especially wanted to film this and upload it for you because Sephora is currently having another 20% off sale. So if you haven't already used your one-time use uh, coupon uh, per account uh, and you were thinking of picking up this kit, uh, now would definitely be a good time. So this retails for $30, but with the uh, discount, you can get it for $24, which I think makes it a great price for uh, just a little gift for someone or a stocking stuffer, just like a little cute little set of minis. Uh, or if you plan to uh, travel for the holidays and you don't want to bring kind of full sizes of any of your favorite products, uh, this might be a good set to uh, bring along with you. Uh, so I've tried out all four of these products uh, on my face today, which you will see uh, shortly here. But I did want to try out these products for you on camera because uh, as you may know, Selena Gomez is um, part Latina and I think she has more of a light medium skin tone, maybe medium tan depending on the season. Uh, so I wanted to see how well these particular shades worked on my complexion. So. Uh, there is the little kind of sneak peek. Uh, so obviously these shades work well for her, but for someone who has very fair skin that leans cool, I was curious how well these products might work on me. So if you have a similar skin tone to me, uh, hopefully this video will uh, be helpful to you. Uh, but just to quickly go over what you get in this set. Uh, so you open it and it says you are rare on the flap and then you have your four products inside there. Uh, so it has the Universal Volumizing Mascara. Uh, so that has that nice little logo on the cap there, and that is what the brush looks like. Uh, in addition to the mascara, you get three other products here. You get one of her matte lip creams in the shade Inspire. This is 3.0 milliliters. And with a lot of these liquid products, you don't end up kind of using them up or going through them. So uh, I really don't mind having minis at all. Uh, and then these cute little minis here, you get the Dewy Liquid Blush in the shade Joy, which is very seasonally appropriate. Uh, I think this is one of those products uh, that has gone viral on TikTok apparently. Uh, and they are going to be launching, I think, three new shades. I'm not sure exactly when the launch date is, but I will uh, note that for you down below in case you wanted to check out the new shades. I think Trend Mood already has kind of a post on that, and they will be releasing a kind of dedicated blush brush to go with these. Uh, and then finally we have the Liquid Luminizer in the shade Mesmerize. So that is also what I tried out today, and I think that is one of uh, Britt Clark's um, favorite highlighters, or at least she's spoken highly of these. Uh, and like she said, I think last Christmas even, uh, it would be nice if they just released a set of mini highlighters. Uh, they did release a set of, I think, three mini blushes. Uh, so if you just wanted to go for the blush formula, uh, you could do that. Uh, so I think that's it in terms of like a preamble. Uh, I show you some comparison swatches to some of the other liquid blushes I have and also this other uh, liquid luminizer. So uh, make sure to stay tuned if you're interested in those comparisons. Uh, but without further ado, uh, let's get into it. Okay, so starting off with the mascara, I will go ahead and give you a close-up look at this wand. That is what the wand looks like. And I'll start by applying on my lower lashes. I don't usually use a kind of normal mascara for the bottom lashes. Uh, normally I will use like the Clinique bottom lash. A, because it has a very tiny little uh, brush and secondly because it is I think a tubing mascara so it helps with smudging. And I think this is the second time that I've used this little mascara sample. I think I used it, it might have been in my Sephora haul video, I can't remember. All right, so curling the lashes with 
my Syrah eyelash curler. I haven't applied any eyeliner so that you can get the full effect of the mascara. Uh, and I also try to keep it fairly simple on the eyes. Use the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. Uh, which I would absolutely recommend picking up uh, during this second Sephora sale if you haven't used your coupon already. I think it's in stock and it would make a great palette for like a holiday kind of festive look but you can also do something fairly uh, like every day. I think there's a nice blend of cool and warm tones in it. I mean it's predominantly cool but you can still get some more neutral kind of leaning warm looks. So it is, I think, my favorite Natasha Denona palette, my most used. Okay, so there is one coat on both eyes. So let's go in for a second coat. I like this mascara. I um I like this type of brush. It's a little bit more of a challenge using it with the kind of shorter handle to it, but it's not terrible. I think Samantha March really likes this mascara. It gives you some good length. And my general preference is for a volumizing mascara uh, with a natural brush and I do tend to prefer waterproof. I like the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes, which is waterproof in that it helps like hold the curl and everything but it's not difficult to remove. This one is just a tad clumpy, so depending on your tolerance for that, just use a lash comb. So hopefully that gives you a good look at this mascara. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out just a tad here now. Let me know if the if the tree is distracting in the background. I just finished um, decorating it today, so this is the first year we've had twinkly lights as opposed to still ones. Okay, so going in with this Joy Blush, which I think is very appropriately named, and I saw that they just, um, or are going to be coming out with additional shades of this and they're also going to be coming out with a brush like a dedicated uh, brush with this formula I guess uh, but as you saw I just tapped a little bit on and I'm blending it out with my fingers uh, I would definitely recommend doing kind of one cheek at a time because this is kind of a more pigmented formula, but it does blend out. So obviously I already had my foundation applied, but I didn't powder uh, on my cheek. That one might have gotten a little out of hand. <laughs> I did apply contour. I used the KVD uh, gel contour and I think that might be it. For foundation, I use the La Mer. 
Okay, so you can kind of see there it's a lot more kind of built up, which I think, I think I'm gonna try taking it down a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to take the Beauty Blender I used and go over that. Okay, so I think that's fairly even. I might have gotten a little bit closer to my nose on that side. All right, and I will quickly swatch the other shades I have. Uh, again, they are going to be coming out with some additional shades. So this one is Joy. So that is the color I have on my cheeks now. And then I also have the shade Bliss. I think they have both like satin and matte formulas. I'm not sure which is which. And then finally we have the shade uh, this is a little sample. I want to say this is Grace. So we have Joy, Bliss, and Grace. So I have kind of a darker peach, a lighter peach, and then kind of more of a like rosy mauve shade. All right, and for highlighter, so the kit comes with the shade Mesmerize and I was interested in this kit because I hadn't tried any of her highlighter formulas. Uh, and then I did end up getting this shade in my Ipsy Glam Bag X uh, Huda. So this is the shade Transcend. Uh, so I'll swatch both of these for you as well. So we have Mesmerize and Transcend. So ironically, I got not the two darkest shades, but I think one of the lighter shades is probably ideal for me. Uh, I think there are, I think there's more of a white one and then more of a pink one. Um, so we'll swatch these for you. Uh, so this one again is Transcend and this one is Mesmerize. So I think that dark shade is gonna be much too dark for me. I don't know if I could get away with using it on the eyes. Uh, but let's try the shade Mesmerize, which is, as the kit suggests, uh, Selena's favorite. And she is, I guess like a light medium skin tone, or maybe she can tan, but I think from what I recall seeing her, like on the Selena and Chef recently, um, she's more of a light medium, I'd say. Okay, so I'm going to apply this tops of the cheekbones. It is a nice formula, so I'm glad that I've had the opportunity to try the formula. And I think it does, it's very skin-like, so I think it can work on my skin tone, even though looking at it, it looks a little bit dark. But I think it shears out pretty nicely, and like you saw, I just put three little drops curious about the new Fenty highlighters. So really easy to blend in. All right, so I think I'm gonna leave the face unpowdered, but I'm going to powder a little bit on the forehead because I think I just want to bronze my forehead up a little bit. So uh, I'm going to, if I can find it, use the LYS powder I used to set my under eyes and this little e.l.f. small tapered brush. And just put a little powder on my forehead. My forehead does tend to get a little shiny as well. And then I'm going to use the Gucci bronzer, which is my, I guess, holy grail, uh, and this Ruffer 22 brush and just warm up the forehead a little bit. Like I said, I've already applied a like liquid gel contour, but for whatever reason, 
I guess I could use that on the forehead, but I'm just, I don't know, kind of conditioned to use a bronzer. I'm just kind of taking it a little bit on the cheeks. I don't want to kind of interfere too much with the highlighter. Okay, so last and hopefully not least, I'm going to use the matte lip cream in the shade Inspire. This was another product that I wanted to try out. Uh, and I assume the applicator on these is the same as the full size, but I don't have it, so I can't uh, compare. It's kind of a triangular shape to it. All right, so I did have a lip oil on earlier, but that's kind of worn off and I don't have any like liner or anything. So we're just going to go straight in. And I think I have applied this before. Let's, let's zoom you in. So one thing I've noticed is like when I apply it, it does tend to kind of push product up to the lip line and then there's like a little well almost. I don't know if you can see that. It would be nice if she came out with a um, like corresponding set of lip liners. So I always do that to kind of transfer any excess. And then I think you can see there's definitely kind of more pigment on the lower lip line. But these do feel very comfortable. They have a very kind of like moussey, silicone -y type feel. And I think they do give you like a soft matte finish. All right, so I'm just gonna let that kind of set for just a second, and then we'll do the kiss test. So you can see there's definitely transfer there. My teeth look still pretty good though. You know how some lip formulas tend to kind of get all over. So uh, I don't think this is gonna be the most like kind of, you know, budge resistant formula you'll try, but I think what you sacrifice in that kind of lack of transferring, um, it makes up for in like the comfort. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a look at kind of the full face done with this little kit. I'm glad that I had the opportunity uh, to try everything. Uh, I don't think anything is like a new favorite. Uh, out of everything, I would say that the the liquid blush and the highlighter, I think, are my favorites. I think those were actually the most surprising uh, to me in terms of whether they would work or not. Uh, I think the mascara is fine. Um, I will try to pin a comment if I experience any flaking or smudging or anything. Uh, I do um, set my under eyes with powder, so that kind of helps with some of that. Uh, and the lip formula, I like it. I just am not completely sold on this color, which is totally fine. My lips are feeling a little bit dry, but I think they still look nice uh, for what it's worth. Uh, so yeah, so let me know if you are interested in this uh, kit after this little review, and uh, let me know if you're picking up anything fun during this kind of second go around at the Sephora sale. Uh, so I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. <music>